Uh huh. You should have seen her horse when she went to put it on her. It's like she's smelling this thing like, yeah, no, no, we're not putting weird llama animals on her. No, 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 no. It took about four times. Really? For her to decide she didn't have to snort it all. Of course, by then it started to smell like her. She was very concerned that this animal was going to be wrapped around her. That's funny. We have an internal joke here about a sheep on her back, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. I have them. No. <laughs> ah, yes. <laughs> no. But eventually, Stan Avenue and Green were on you and start blessing. Uh huh. Give her one more thing to think about. Eventually, yeah, they could probably go on the saddle and let the water out of the leaf. Uh, yeah. I know. You relaxed, but then you saw it with your right eye. <laughs> But she'll do this sometimes with her her blankets, That's interesting. her fly blankets and wow. harness. It's a very strong flight instinct, like the mountain lion has pounced, and I must yeah. protect myself from the thing that's on my back. And I've saddled her, I can't tell you how many times, out in the round pen loose. Yeah. Which is encouraging. In fact, uh, when I had her loose out there and I had thrown the uh, cinch up or the stirrup up like that, yeah. she would turn in, come to me. Uh -huh. right on cue. <laughs> it would scare, you know, she gets, she'd look back and then she'd start coming to me and I'm like, no, because if you really bolt, yeah, you're. And so what I'd do is I'd yield her hindquarters real quick and it would fall off. Point with your left hand. Point the direction you want her to go. There you go. Point real high. There you go. It's important that you do it that way and not this way. Yeah. She stays pretty light when she's not spooking. Yeah. This is better. Yes. Yeah, after the lesson we had the last time, I worked her two or three times, and then my teeth started bothering me, and it got hot, so she's had three or four days off.
<laughs> I wonder if, like, you know how you s said the one guy would tie a rope to the stirrup? <laughs> that could be the lesson today. Yeah. Yeah. Is she kind of bringing you over this way? No, that's me. I'm okay. Around. You don't want her in the same circle all the time. Yeah. Which is kind of funny because my munching background comes a lot from vaulting. Uh huh. Which is you right here. Ah, and not moving. With my heel digging a hole in the ground and my heart making a perfect circle. Yeah. Now, how do you get them used to that? Oh, my God. <laughs> you know, used to do it with Arabians at Cal Poly. <laughs> yes, I had a vaulting team on air over there with college students. My favorite one being a veterinarian now, but back when he vaulted, he was six foot five and 185 pounds. And when you do the flag movement where you're up on your knee and you have your